In today's video, we are going to practice how to find the total resistance of a circuit using the star delta or delta star approach. I uploaded a video recently where I explained the concept behind the star delta network and how to convert from delta to star and vice versa. So what we are going to do today is to solve a lot of examples. So let's begin with this example. How do we convert from delta to star? Now this is a delta connection because the three resistors are connected end to end. So whenever you come across three resistors connected end to end, then you have a delta network. So before we do the conversion, we are going to draw the star network inside the delta network. So this is going to be R1, we have R2, and then R3. So to find the value of R1, we are going to multiply the opposite resistors, which are 10 and 25. And divide by the sum of the outer resistors, 25, 15, and 10. Now 10 times 25 is equal to 250. And then 25 plus 15 is 40. And then 40 plus 10 is 50. So R1 is going to be 5 ohms. Now for R2, R2 is going to be 25 multiplied by 15 divided by 50. So that's going to be 7.5 ohms. And then R3 is equal to 10 multiplied by 15. divided by 50 so R3 is going to be 3 ohms so the value for R1 is 5 ohms R2 is equal to 7.5 ohms and then R3 is equal to 3 ohms so this is how to convert a delta network to a star network So now let's see how to convert from star to delta. This is a star connection because all the three resistors have a common connection point. So to convert to delta, we need to redraw the network to have a delta shape. So this is going to be RA and then we have RB and then RC. Since the resistors are connected end to end, then we have a delta network. So let's start with the calculation. So to solve for RA, RA is going to be 10 plus 20 plus the product of 10 and 20 divided by 40. So what it basically means is that if you want to convert from star to delta, you are going to have three shapes. It's going to be either three triangles or two triangles and a rectangle. Now if you select resistor C R A, then it's going to be the sum of the inner resistors which are 10 and 20 plus their product divided by the outer resistor. So that is why we have 10 plus 20 plus 10 times 20 divided by 40. So we are going to have RA to be equal to 35 ohms. Now for RB, RB is going to be 40 plus 20 plus 40 times 20 divided by 10. So let's write that here. 20 plus 40 plus 20 times 40 divided by 10 so rb is going to be 140 ohms and rc 
is going to be 10 plus 40 plus 10 times 40 divided by 20. So ours is going to be 70 ohms. So this is basically how to convert from star to delta. Now let's solve this problem. We are to find the total resistance for this particular circuit. No two resistors are connected in series or in parallel, so we are going to use the delta star approach. So the star network is going to be inside the delta network. So we are going to have R1, R2, and then R3. Since we are going to convert from delta to star, for R1, it's going to be 30 multiplied by 20 divided by the sum of the outer resistors. Now the sum of the outer resistors is 30 plus 20 plus 50 which is equal to 100 ohms. So we are going to have 100 here. Now 30 times 20 divided by 100 is equal to 6. So we have 6 ohms. Now for R2, it's going to be 20 times 50 divided by 100. Now 20 times 50 divided by 100 is equal to 10. So R2 is equal to 10 ohms. And then for R3, it's going to be 30 times 50 divided by 100. So R3 is going to be 15 ohms. So we got R1 to be equal to 6 ohms, R2 to be 10 ohms, and then R3 to be equal to 15 ohms. So we can redraw the circuit. We are going to have 13 ohms here, and then 24 ohms here, and then R1, which is 6 ohms. And then R2, which is 10 ohms. And then we have 10 ohms here. And then R3, which is 15 ohms. So this is how the circuit is going to look like. Now 24 is in series with this 6 ohm resistor. So their equivalence is going to be 24 plus 6 is equal to 30 ohms. And then these two 10 ohm resistors are also in series. So their equivalence is going to be 10 plus 10, which is equal to 20 ohms. Now the 20 ohm resistor and the 30 ohm resistor are in parallel. So their equivalence is going to be 20 times 30 divided by 20 plus 30. Now this is going to be 12 ohms. So the final circuit is going to look like this. We are going to have the 13 ohm resistor here and then the 12 ohm resistor and then this 15 ohm resistor. Since these three resistors are in series, then the equivalence is going to be their sum. So you are going to have RT, which is the total resistance, is going to be equal to 13 plus 12 plus 15. Now 13 plus 12 is equal to 25, and then 25 plus 15 is equal to 40. So the total resistance for this particular circuit is equal to 40 ohms. Let's solve another example. How do we find the total resistance for this circuit? To ensure that at least two resistors are in either series or parallel, 
we need to convert this star network to a delta network so this is going to be RA and then RB and then RC so to find the value of RA RA is going to be 6 plus 6 times their product divided by 3 now this is equal to 24 so you have 24 ohms now for RB it's going to be 6 plus 3 plus 6 times 3 divided by 6 so that's going to be 12 ohms and then for RC you're going to have the same thing it's going to be 3 plus 6 plus 3 times 6 divided by 6 and that's also going to be 12 ohms so we can redraw the circuit to look like this Now the 6 ohm resistor and the 24 ohm resistor are connected in parallel. So their equivalence is going to be 6 times 24 divided by 6 plus 24, which is equal to 4.8. So you have 4.8 ohms. And then this 12 ohm resistor is in parallel with this 3 ohm resistor. So their equivalence is going to be 12 times 3 divided by 12 plus 3 which is equal to 2.4 ohms so we can redraw the circuit again to look like this Now these two resistors are in series because the same current will pass through. So their equivalence is going to be 4.8 plus 2.4 which is equal to 7.2. So we have 7.2 ohms. Now the 7.2 ohm resistor is going to be in parallel with the 12 ohm resistor. So the equivalence is going to be 12 times 7.2 divided by 12 plus 7.2 and it's going to be 4.5 so we have 4.5 ohms so finally the circuit is going to look like this we are going to have the 3 ohm resistor in parallel with the 4.5 ohm resistor so the total resistance for this particular circuit is going to be 3 times 4.5 divided by 3 plus 4.5 which is going to give us 1.8 ohms so the total resistance for this particular circuit is equal to 1.8 ohms so that's it for this video if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos hope to see you in my next video Bye-bye.